Hello, God blessings to those that are following Jesus with their whole heart, mind, and soul, with a life of obedience unto Jesus Christ. So blessings to you. Um, so I want to just come on here just to speak about something that was on my heart, my mind wanted to share. And it is very important as followers of Jesus Christ that we understand our calling. Our calling, yes, everyone is called. Everyone is called to a job. Everyone is called to do a work. And it's not, that cannot be the focus of why we are called. That cannot be the focus of why we're doing the things we're doing. Because we see that, yes, we are anointed to do what we're called to do. You know, we have the prophets, you have the apostles, you have the teachers, you have the pastors, you have, you know, all different categories you can name. But the focus is that, that our life glorify God. That our life glorify God. That's the real calling on our life, that our life, the call of God on our life glorifies God. It doesn't matter who you are and what you think you are and what you think that, you know, you are the man of God. You are a woman of God. You have this great responsibility. You got this this role that doesn't make who, that doesn't um define or makes you the man or woman of God that you need to be. Yes, God give you that. God equip you, equip you with that. But if you're not glorifying God with the things that God give you, with the gifts, with the power, with the anointing on your life, if that's not glorifying God, if you're not glorifying God with what you have, what God equip you with, what you're doing is nothing. What you're doing is nothing at all. So, yes, God equipped us to do the work. God equipped us to do the job. Yes, I equip you now. Go do this. Just like Moses had an encounter with the Spirit of God, had an encounter with the Lord, and he had had to do a job. Moses, I command you to go lead and tell Pharaoh to lead my people, to free my people, to free my people out of Egypt, to let my people go. And God equipped Moses, God equipped him out to go out to do the job. So I know that I'm having a connection problem because, you know, some areas around where we at, connections can be very bad so by in jesus name we're gonna continue uh, preaching the gospel preaching the word of god so yes god equip us to go out and to do the work to do the job but if we're not glorifying god with a thing that's that we what we have what god equip us with what we have is nothing there are people that was anointing. There were people that had a great power from God, that had great anointing from God, that had great responsibility from God, great jobs in the kingdom, you know, to do for the Lord. But they didn't glorify God with those things that they had. So they are in, they are in hell. There are people that's on the, that that's are in hell that have those great responsibility that was very anointed very anointed by the Lord Jesus they they had great power but they missed out they didn't make it in because their life their lifestyle wasn't pleasing to God their ways the way they lived life they think that they was okay to live life think that they was okay to live however and still be under the anointing, under the power, under the glory of God, and still go to heaven. And that's not how it works. They they think that because they have this great mega church, or they get they have this large amount of 
numbers of people that follow them that they have a way in. Because you see that when when they when you see when you see when you see that in the word of God, when they approach God and say, God, have I done this? Have I done this in your name? And God say, I never knew you. I never knew you. I never knew you. It wasn't never my, my friend of mine. I never knew you. Because God is God is saying that, hey, yes, I equip you. Yes, I give you these things. Yes, I give you the power. I give you all this you have. But you that what you had didn't glorify me. You didn't glorify me with your life. You didn't obey me. I told you to do a job. I told you to do this, but you do things. You did it your own way. Make a left right of it. You did things your own way. You didn't think you didn't do it to glorify me. I told you to do something simple, but you went the other way because you want to do things to please people. You want to do things to win souls. You would do things to, yes, yeah, there's people that think glorifying God is all about winning souls. It's all about, hey, the way you knew, the way that he taught you, she taught you, that was in the right way. So this is the truth. This is the truth. And you follow my truth is the truth that my truth will set you free. Yes, I gave him the truth. I gave her the truth, but they didn't follow that. They made their own, you know, they, they 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 put their own things in the word of God. They you know they they came up with their own method and how things should be. So yes, they 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 say things to win souls, they say things to to win the heart of the people. That's why they have many followers. That's why they people have came to the church because they only preach, they only teach what the people want it, not what God is saying. Not what God is saying. So it wasn't never about glorifying God. So that's what that's what God is, God is going to say. That's what God is going to say to when, you know, when they stand before God, like, I never knew you because everything I've given you, everything I've told you, you never obeyed me. You never followed me. You never listened, listened to me. You only did things to glorify yourself. You only think do things to so those that follow you, those that that's in your church that could glorify you, that could give you a hand clap, and tell you, Pastor, you did a good job, or minister so and so you did a good job. Prophet so and so you did a good job. That was a good word you preached. That was a good teaching. You did a good job. God said, you know, it wasn't never about me. And I you never it what you never made it about me. You know? So I want to touch back on this, and so Lord is willing, maybe I'll, I'll, I may be doing, I may do a second video, but just to leave you guys with this, that our call on our, our call on our life needs to glorify God. It needs to glorify God. Whoever you are, whatever God gives you, I've. Don't, how, how great you may think you are, how powerful you may think you are, how anointed you may think you are, what you have, that doesn't mean nothing. If you're not glorifying God with your life, everything that you're doing is vain. Everything that is you're doing is nothing at all. So you need to be born again. You need to be born again because Jesus is returning for his church. Is returning for a church that without blemish, without spot. So you need to be born again. You need to allow the Lord to truly change your way, change your perspective, change how you see things. Because it's all about glorifying God. It's all about glorifying God. So we'll talk again shortly in Jesus' name.